some of our favorite celebs have died recently and Hollywood mourns their death. So, how did they die? And what did they achieve during their life? Let's take a look back at the celebrities who died in early 2023. Number 5. Lisa Loring, the former child star famous for playing Wednesday Addams in the Addams Family 1960s sitcom. She passed away on January 28 at the age of 64 due to a stroke caused by smoking and high blood pressure. Loring kicked off her career as a child model and soon found herself in the spotlight with a role in the Dr. Kildare medical drama. At just five and a half years old, she snagged the iconic role of Wednesday in the first adaptation of Charles Adams' New Yorker cartoons. Loring's talent didn't stop there. She went on to grace the screens in various shows like Fantasy Island, Barnaby Jones, As the World Turns, Savage Harbor, and Dr. Spine. Her journey from a child model to a beloved TV star leaves behind a legacy of entertainment that will be remembered. Number 4. T.G. Harris, who reached the top six in American Idol season 13, left us on January 13 following a sudden medical emergency. He was born in Jasper in 1991 and had a musical journey inspired by his grandfather, who gave him a guitar with just three strings when he was a kid. C.J. Harris first took a shot at American Idol in 2010 and also tried out for The X Factor and The Voice, although success didn't come immediately. Undeterred, he returned to audition for Idol in 2014, wowing the judges with his rendition of the Allman Brothers' Soul Shine. Even after finishing six, he joined other contestants on the show's live tour and had the opportunity to perform with one of his musical idols, Darius Rucker, at the Grand Ole Opry in 2014. In 2019, CJ released his debut single, In Love. His journey on American Idol and beyond showed his resilience and passion for music. Number 3. The awesome guitarist Jeff Beck passed away on January 10 at 78 because of bacterial meningitis. He was a big deal, one of the top five guitarists ever according to Rolling Stone. Jeff Beck rocked the music scene, making blues music cooler and adding wild sounds like audio feedback and distortion, which ended up shaping heavy metal. This guy was so good, he got into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame twice, first with the Yardbirds and then with his group. And guess what? He snagged eight Grammy Awards during his career, starting in 1986 for a rock instrumental jam called Escape. In recent times, Jeff Beck teamed up with actor Johnny Depp. They even dropped a cover of John Lennon's Isolation in 2020, hitting on the whole COVID-19 thing. Depp and Beck were a duo on and off stage, and they released an album called 18 in July 2022. A cool way for Beck to keep his music alive and kicking with a modern twist. Number 2. Adam Rich, the former child star renowned for his role as Nicholas Bradford on the sitcom 8 is enough. He left us on January 7 at the age of 54 in his Los Angeles home. The cause of his death has not been disclosed. Adam Rich made a significant mark in the world of television as he graced our screens in various shows and TV movies during the late 70s, 80s, and 90s, including Chips, Fantasy Island, Small Wonder, Dungeons and Dragons, Code Red, and Baywatch. Although he took a break from acting, Adam Rich briefly returned to the scene in 2003, playing himself in the comedy film Dickie Roberts, former child star. He even reprised his role as the youngest Bradford son in the TV movies Eight Is Enough, a family reunion and an Eight Is Enough wedding. His contributions to the world of entertainment will be remembered always. Number 1. Lisa Marie Presley, the singer-songwriter and daughter of Elvis Presley, passed away on January 12 at 54 due to a suspected cardiac arrest. Lisa Marie wasn't just the daughter of a music legend, she was a talented musician herself. Her first album, To Whom It May Concern, where she wrote or co-wrote every song, climbed to No. 5 on the Billboard 200 chart and earned a gold certification. Her second album, Now What?, also debuted in the top 10. She had quite a journey in her personal life too, being married four times to Danny Keough, Michael Jackson, Nicolas Cage, and Michael Lockwood. Lisa Marie leaves behind a legacy not just as the daughter of the king of rock and roll, but as a musician and a person with her own story. Which of these celebs will you miss the most? Let us know in the comment section below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for the latest news trends. Click right here for more.